Hello Automators! Amazon just announced a whole new set of features for their voice assistant called Miss A+. I'm gonna tell you about the six most exciting things I've found from their event today. Admittedly, it took a long time for Amazon to come out with this new generative AI voice assistant. The point of one of these versus traditional voice assistants, the ones you're used to, is that they're conversational. They personalize the responses. And of course, as we've seen with other generative AI assistants, they are really there to help you get things done. Here's the very best feature of the day. If you're a Prime member, this new version of Amazon's voice assistant costs nothing. It'll roll out in the next couple of weeks in the US and your Echo Show 8, 10, 15, and 21 will be among the first to get this new voice assistant. So this is coming fast and it can be free if you're a Prime member. Now it is $20 a month if you're not, so maybe just get Prime. But here are five other incredible features that just got added. I'm all about automating your life, and so I show all kinds of Amazon routines that will help people do that, but a lot of people struggle to create automations with Amazon's app. That's probably not the case anymore as you're now going to be able to create routines by voice. We're not just talking the simple ones either as Amazon showcased how you could create fairly complex routines just by asking. This is maybe the most exciting announcement for me. A little while ago, Ring gave us this feature called Smart Video Search. I've used it to search for things like, hey, show me the pizza deliveries or show me videos with red cars. You can search for smarter things, but this new version of the voice assistant, and you know, you gotta have a Ring subscription for this, you can ask for a summary of detected events to come up on your Echo Shows. It's more than that, but it, it can be like a highlight reel of exactly what you wanna see. And then when combined with that Ring video search feature, it's gonna be exactly what you want. This one surprised me a lot because it's kind of felt like Amazon has backed away from some of the productivity features that I was initially excited about. You know, like calendars and emails, those kinds of things, they just haven't been focused on. With this new generative AI version, you can upload documents. And for an example, let's say you upload a family recipe or even a contract that you're looking at signing or have signed. Once you upload that to Miss A+, you can just ask questions about it. So it's contextual productivity and that makes it actual. I know I'm gonna use this one. I bet you guys have all kinds of ideas for how you're gonna use that right now. I'd love to hear them in the comments below. Now a voice assistant is only as useful as what it can do. Amazon's built this new version of their voice assistant to connect to what they say is hundreds of APIs to get stuff done. They've already integrated with services like OpenTable and Grubhub, and of course their own services and companies like Whole Foods. So let's say your appliance breaks down, you need to get it fixed. Not only can you ask for recommendations for someone to fix it, but it's probably gonna be able to book the whole appointment for you. Speaking of those other services that uh, Amazon's voice assistant connects to, multimedia is changing a lot through this. I, I think that's what most of us use our echoes and echo shows for anyways. You know, I wanna watch something or I wanna listen to something. But now I can ask for things based on the moment or how I'm feeling. And if I'm watching a show, I wanna know what the song is playing. That's easy for the new AI. I think it's more exciting to kind of start up a conversation, say what I'm feeling like, and drive down to the type of music or content that I'd like. Considering many of you use Amazon's voice assistant today already and you use Amazon for the Prime service, this is a big win. I think a lot of us expected to kind of be hit hard with a subscription cost and I'm really excited that that's not gonna hit a lot of you and it's not gonna hit me. I'm really excited to use this contextual addition to their voice assistant too. So I'm gonna get on these new features. Uh, I'm gonna get them onto our devices as fast as humanly possible. So make sure you subscribe and we'll be showing you how to use these great features, how to work them into your everyday life so that you can automate yours. Of course, I cover other parts of the smart home industry when they put out big news like this. So if you're wondering about a huge price drop from Nanoleaf or how Google is doing a similar thing with Gemini, 
check out the playlist that is right there. You can also watch the release of Video Search, and soon I'll have a video about 2K resolution coming to your ring cameras. It's all right there, so check it out. Otherwise, thanks for watching today, and of course, live smart.